We've visited some of the finest locations in Western Australia for the show, but I cannot think of a better place to finish than right here in Jarrodale with one of our best chefs, Guy Jeffries. <laughs> hey Guy, thanks for inviting us to Millbrook. I tell you, you grow all of your fruit and veg that you use in the restaurant here. It's real paddock to plate cooking, isn't it? Yeah, it's been something I've always wanted to do and we haven't bought any fruit or veg this year, so I'm pretty stoked about that. Now, I've got some cream that I've brought along, some delicious cream, and you're picking some berries. We're making a dessert today. What are you doing? Yeah, I think that we should um, make some mascarpone from the yep. cream and then we'll make a parfait from that mascarpone and just put it with some berries. Oh, I can't wait. Let's go. Do it. So, Guy, we've got the cream. Let's make the mascarpone. All How right. do you do it, mate? Oh, it's so simple. You know, you can go to the shop and buy it or you can just get some nice, beautiful, fresh cream. OK. And all you have to do is get it to the boil. OK. Um, we're just going to grab an orange yeah. and we're going to get a bit of the, the zest in there. You're actually curdling it with, or kind of semi-curdling the cream with some of the juice as well? That's right. What do we do next? So now we're just going to hit it with the juice to split it, get all that juice in there. That's going to split. Yeah. And then we're going to cool it down. 48 hours in the fridge and then you're going to end up with the most cheesy, beautiful mascarpone that you, you can get. Using this cream, I mean, I'm a farm boy and this taste, the Bannister Downs cream, tastes the most like what we used to get out of our cows on the property. I tell you, it's really, really sensational. Yeah, we've all, always used them and uh, beautiful local product and, and like you say, just brings back those, uh, those memories of being a kid and milking the cow. We'll uh, let that cool down and then we'll pour it into the bowl. Look at that. You've got that separation. There's little yeah. bits of kind of split cream. Let's get this parfait going. We've got to separate some of these beautiful fresh eggs of yours. Yeah, just went down and grabbed them from the chook pen. Got some mix of duck and chicken. Oh, look, I love these duck eggs. They're huge. We're going to put the yolks into the bowl, add the sugar, and give it a good whisk over the bain marie. So you get that going. Yep. So, Guy, We've got that egg yolk, that sabay on. It's got a nice kind yeah, of nice drizzle to it. It's nice and thick. Time to add the mascarpone. So, Guy, you are the luckiest person in the world when it comes to a veggie garden that's brimming at this time of year. Yeah. What are you going to cook for Christmas lunch at home? Yeah, so we'll go down. The plums should be ready um, out of the orchard, which is 90 years old. We incubate our own our own ducks as well and chickens. That's just real food, back to how it used to be done before the supermarkets, mate. Now, ready to receive the cream? Please. Now, that is looking really light and absolutely delicious. And then you just need to freeze it overnight and uh, then turn it out. So, Guy, how do you build this? Oh, I'm just going to chuck it on the plate. Oh, I love it. That is a Guy Jeffries answer. <laughs> Look at that. So that is a parfait. That is a yeah. mascarpone delicious parfait. I'm just going to build up all the berries around. Let that warm up a little bit. You've got that melt happening. It's a lovely kind of chilled, soft texture. Yeah. And you're adding some crunch. And uh, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Guy. <laughs> Cheers, mate. I've got to get into this. There we go. <laughs> oh.